greetings and welcome to Zen and the Art of the Guardian Sudoku Puzzle. It's Saturday the 24th of August 2024. Oh, all the twos and the fours are here. Uh, let's hope you're having a great weekend if it's still weekend when you watch this video. Saturday, it's just about to get dark here in Bangkok. Uh, we had a lot of sunshine, a lot of rain all in one day today. Uh, what's going on? I saw uh, a quote that has kind of... Um, made me um what's the word not incensed i'm not <laughs> super angry but i i find it this a bit uh i'm dismayed at a, 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 a sentence i just read in a guardian article uh it's an article about longevity and uh in particular uh an interview with richard farragher i guess his name is pronounced a professor of biogerontology at the university of brighton who's talking about uh, you know why people live to such an old age and uh, um, you know he uh, said as as is probably widely known that it's you know partly luck and partly um, uh, genetics um, and uh, you know like reasonable habits uh, that kind of thing okay that's right we all agree with that I think we know that but the the quote that I really dislike is that he said <laughs> according to the Guardian um, Never ever take health and lifestyle tips from a centenarian. What you see with centenarians is that they don't take much exercise. <laughs> Quite often their diets are rather unhealthy. Uh, and this flies in the face of epidemiolo em epidemiological evidence. Well, first of all, if you live to be over 100, you probably can't take too much exercise at that point in your life. But I really hate this quote that says never ever listen to anybody that's reach that age because I remember reading not that long ago in the Guardian in fact of an elderly person who was talking about you know and I, I really also don't like it when they give tips and stuff like that I also find it's a bit silly uh, you know for people to be giving tips on how to live longer because it's you know obviously a lot of it is just down to luck and statistics but I actually remember reading a quote from an older man uh, who had lived to be an old age and he said that he ate you know his 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 tips were um you know or rather he, his accounting for how he had lived to be such a ripe old age was that uh he ate moderate in moderation and he did some exercise and also that he um was lucky <laughs> he recognized that so that's exactly what this man is supposedly uh, recommending why would you say never ever i really dislike this quote it means that he's like very patronizing of old people imagining that they're all do lally or something like that I, I find it a disgusting quote to be honest with you <laughs> anyway uh, I, I, it wound me up a little bit I think right let's get on with the game of Sudoku shall we to calm down not that I'm super annu super animated or anything like that but uh, let's play Sudoku anyway this is the LA Times expert level puzzle I've seen an LA no I've seen a New York Times style of beginning I see a six and a nine blocking across like that giving me a six and a nine there I don't know what it means but I do know that six and nine are in those squares how would that help uh, so what will it mean I don't know uh, shall we investigate these squares first of all so we've got six and nine we're looking for one two four five I guess one two four five Four, five there, so that's a one, two. Uh, five. Uh, okay, let's see if we've got anything up here. We've got fours. Ah, yeah, four blocking across here, four blocking down here, and back up that way. So going up to the top here, and we already know that these squares are eliminated, so that's going to be a four. Uh, what else do we know? Sevens are going to be down here somewhere. Do we know anything else about seven? Uh, not sure. Um, one, so this is six, nine. We've got one, two, eight. One, two, eight. No, that's not enough. Excuse me, I'm mumbling. Uh, I'm mumbling to myself. 
Uh, no. Okay, that's all I got for the moment. But anyway, let's uh, <coughs> look for other things. Do you think we should try looking for anything easy first of all, or are there other things springing up, jumping up, and saying, "Grab me, grab me"? <laughs> Can you hear a a, a toot? On an old-fashioned bicycle horn. That's the uh, roti seller. Guy with a cart who comes around and makes roti outside your house. If you want it. Uh, I've got a couple of nines there. There. Nope. Okay, let's go through bit by bit. I can see uh, some restrictions, but I can't find a number yet. So, are we helped with digit one? Oh yeah, down here, one across and one across. That'll help. There's a lonely looking two. Three over here and there gives us three in that square. Three down to the bar. Oh, excuse me. A very skew whiff. Threes across here. There we go. So that leaves us with threes like this. One of those unsolvable patterns. So we must have five there. Ah, now, okay, I've got something. So we've got five blocking across here and across here, right? So that means five is in left and left and right columns in this shoot. Shoot meaning three blocks in a row like that. So we can only look for five in the middle here. Now we already know that this is six and nine, so that can't be five. That has to be five there. Now five blocking across there, five up there gives me a five there. Five across here and five up there gives me a five just there. We'll continue with the fives. They're looking good. Five like this. And that's, I think, all we can do because we will be left with fives in those blue squares there but in the meanwhile let's come back up here and see if we can find something else uh, one, two, eight. so I said this was six and nine so let's have another look at these squares in case it's a bit easier now. Yes, it is four blocking across here. There's our four. And this is one. So we got the one blocking up there. There's our one. And this will be a two. Now, two has to be in one of those two squares. So this can't be two. So we're looking here for two. And actually, we know this is six, nine. So this is two, one, right? So we got the one blocking up there. There's our one. There's our two. This is going to be eight. Uh, we have seven and eight in these squares. We have six and nine there. We have one and two in those squares. We have threes like this. Oh, no, we don't. Sorry. Tell a liar. We have threes down there. Sorry about that. Misled you there for a second. But... Oh, the the threes haven't changed actually. It's I, as I pointed out before. It's in the same in the same squares. Right. Let's continue with our ones. 
down, up and across. And then one across here, across there, and up there. So there's that's not the final one. One blocking up here. We need a one in the top row. It goes there. The last number here is a two. We have twos down there. We have twos there. Six down, six up, six in there. So this is two and what is the other number? Nine is it? I think, yeah. Nine blocking across there. There's our nine, there's our two. Missing digits here are seven, eight. We've got eight blocking across. There's our eight, this would be seven. Last numbers to get there are seven and something else. Seven and four. This is two, three, eight. And yeah, I can't get any of those. One is our only completed digit at the moment. What do we? What else do we know? Still no change on the threes. Or the fives. Uh, I'm going to switch the air conditioning. I'm sorry, there's a kind of whistling sound in the background. That's my air conditioning. I'm going to switch it off. Hold on. Sorry, I didn't realise I'd been annoying you with my squeaky air conditioning fan. It does need seeing too. Uh, hmm. Okay. What am I missing? Let's check out this block down here. What do we know? Uh, twos are there. Fours are here. Fives are there. What do we know about six? Corner squares. Seven. Tough to remember. I'm doing that wrong.
Sorry for the silence. Can't see it without pencil marks, I think. Me, I mean, not you. If you're a player without pencil marks, you probably finished by now, but I am not by nature. Uh, okay, I don't want a game to go on for too long. I don't know how long we've been playing, but it seems like quite a long time. So I think I'd better put in the pencil marks. Uh, I've no idea where the suspect block is. Maybe this block over here, I can't really see. Uh, I'm not sure. Let's just go with the flow. Okay, let's do it. So uh, what do I know about the twos? They go in those squares there for sure. And down here and then the threes are like this and like this and like this and fours are in these squares and these squares and this pair here and fives are in these squares only Ooh. that's not my cat forgot to put the sixes up here six and nine wasn't it in those squares let me put the nine in as well let's do the sixes um, six is a pair like this sevens are in those squares and these squares and another pair down there seven also in these squares there uh, let's fill in the eights here as well and we have eight somewhere there and a pair of eights there okay and nine in these squares and these squares Uh, is that it? I think it is one, two. Uh, any more on the twos? Don't think so. Th just double checking stuff here. Threes, yeah, four. Okay, fives. Sure, six. All right, I think that's it. So uh, I have no idea where the right place to begin is. Let's just finish off this block down here. See what else we're missing. Two blocks down here like this. So twos go in those squares. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. All done. Uh, let's do this block over here. One, two, three, four, five, six. What do we know? Six across there. Sixes are in the corner squares. Uh, seven blocks across here so sevens are like this and that's all done is there anything along the bottom there I don't think so no so let's try this block here twos block like this so we get twos in those squares there threes are in position already four blocks across here and down there those are available for four five is in six blocks down here and across there again three corner squares seven what do we know seven blocking down here so seven still possible like that uh, eight yep and we are done so let's see 
six, seven, eight, two, six, eight. Um, okay, I don't see anything. So uh, let's do this. One block. Oh, one we don't need. Two, three, four, five, six. Sorry, across here. So six is still possible like this. Seven is in. How about the eights? Blocks up there. And a nine. Like so. Uh, is this block done? Yes, it is. Oh, so all of our digits are actually in place already. Okay, so we've got a pair of six and seven here. There we are, a pair of six and seven. So this seven is no longer true. Uh, does that help matters? Not much. Six, seven is... Oh, there's a six we can remove there. Ah, so now we have sixes in those squares, so this can't be six. We remove it and we place a six here, and then we remove these two sixes there. And what does it give us? Two, five, four, five. Six, seven, nine. Hmm. Okay, we've got to go through the digits now to see what's changed. Those threes are still the same. Oh, we've got a pair of three and eight here. So this and this 8 can be removed and this 3 can be removed and now we've got a pair of 5 and 9 here so let's get rid of all of these 9's immediately and get rid of this 9 over here and place a 9 in this square and now this is the only 9 in the middle column so that's what it is then 6 is there and this must be our six and now we're on our way forward I think that should be enough to give us a huge jump forward probably enough to finish the game most likely anyway let's get rid of the eights there shall we and uh, what else have we got to get rid of we've got a pair of six and seven there so that's going to be a three because it can't be anything else this is our two then and we have a couple of squares with candidate two to remove. Seven's got to go. And that's got to be a nine. So two here, five there. Four in that square. Uh, one, five, and nine are finished. We have a pair of four and seven in this row, so this is our six. Seven is there. Six there. Six is a finished. Um, I see a unique rectangle, three, eight, three, eight. Like this, 3838 eight, three, eight, and a 238, eight. so we'll put the 2 in there. Save a bit of time, 8 goes there, 3 is in that square. Not that I needed to do that, but I don't see anything wrong with um, unique rectangles anyway. 
Oh, okay. Uh, so sorry, it took me a long time because I did try to go forward without pencil marks. Couldn't manage it. Uh, thank you very much, and I'll see you around. Take care. Bye-bye.